Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's video, we're gonna talk about plant spacing, why it's important, and when it's a good idea to totally ignore the rules. Let's check it out. All right, so what do we mean by plant spacing? It's the recommended amount of space a certain plant needs to survive and grow well. All plants require a different amount of space because all plants grow differently, some much larger than others, and some much, much smaller. If they're too crowded, then they'll actually compete with each other for sunlight, nutrients, soil, so it is important to give them enough space to grow to their maximum potential. There's a great method of gardening called square foot gardening, which I'm applying here. It was written and developed by this guy, Mel Bartholomew. It's a great book, and he talks about how to maximize harvests by utilizing plant spacing. Like carrots, you can actually fit 16 carrots in a single one foot square. You can fit 16 radishes nine beets like that is awesome it really helps to maximize the potential of your garden but here's the one thing it really depends on what you're using those crops for so here's the specific crop i want to talk to you about today that we're going to defy the rules that is lettuce all right so here we go he has four leaves of lettuce in a single square block but the way that he is growing them is to full head which is totally cool, having a head of lettuce, a big old ball of lettuce, that's great. Like, you can totally grow them that way. But there's another method for growing lettuce. It's a little style called cut and come again. So what does that mean? That means that you can actually grow lettuce very, very tightly. See, I have way more than four lettuces here. But what you can actually do is when it gets a little bit taller, you can come through here and you can cut, 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 cut. You can cut all these leaves you can harvest them, and then a couple weeks later, you have a whole nother square of lettuce. Cut that again, it comes back. You can do it three or four times. Another great crop to do this with is arugula. Check out how thickly this is sown. I don't know, there's probably several hundred plants in there, but we're not gonna let them grow to full size. We're gonna cut them off. We're gonna use them as nice little baby greens, see? You add a bunch of those to your salad, it's really nice. You can come through here, just like the lettuce, you cut it off. You can kind of do it in, in quadrants, cut like this chunk, then next time you want a salad, cut this chunk, cut that chunk, cut that chunk. By the time you get to here, this one's already grown back and you just repeat it. So you get salad greens for most of the season instead of just waiting to grow one big salad tree <laughs> or whatever, or a head or whatever. Arugula, funny enough, it actually turned into a large plant. We left one kind of just straggler last year and it turned into a huge thick stem. The leaves were almost too bitter and spicy to eat, but I was surprised at how big it actually gets. It's a very large uh, little plant, but in this form, it's nice. You get it fast, you get a bunch of it. And here's another example of it. This is a little green called Totsoi. It's this really nice Asian green. And check it out. The recommended spacing is 12 inches. So they suggest we just grow one single plant in this square which is true because if it gets really big and it gets a foot wide, then you can't have a lot of other plants blocking it. But instead of just planting one seed in the middle and waiting for one plant to grow, you sow a bunch of them. I probably have 20 different plants here. And what you can do is you can select one to be like your champion one foot plant. And then as it starts to get crowded, guess what? You just harvest the other ones. You have these delicious Asian greens and you just multiply your harvest that much more. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying to break the rules, specifically talking about your lettuce greens because these things grow fast and they can come back again and again. Here's another example. This is a bok choy. I think you're supposed to grow like four of these per square. I have probably 30 of them. But as they start to get crowded, I'm gonna pluck them out and I'm gonna eat them. So that's just a way that you can maximize your harvest again and again. Now, of course, like I said, this really depends on the type of plant that you're growing. You can't do this with everything because you don't necessarily eat the, you don't eat the greens, you don't eat the leaves of everything. Like check this out, this is a tomato. They recommend one square foot for a tomato. Definitely agree with that. You don't want 12 tomatoes in a square foot because they're gonna get giant and you don't eat the leaves. You have to wait until it's a six foot plant before you get nice big uh, tomatoes. So it really depends on what you're growing. So what I am talking about here specifically, like I mentioned, are the greens. So that's what I say to ignore the plant spacing, plant your greens nice and tight together, harvest a bunch of them, select one or two to grow, 
and grow to full size, but in the meantime, you get a lot of nice uh, baby greens in the process. All right, guys, that's it for today. We're running out of time, running out of daylight. Hope you liked that one. I do recommend checking out this book, Square Foot Gardening. It's a great method. I don't recommend breaking all the rules, but this one does work, and I suggest you try it. We'll see you on the next one.